All right, Jeremy Baylor, executive producer. Is, executive is that the producer. title you have? That's correct. All right, so the, the new feature film that you partnered with, you you and Ben Hada, mm -hmm. okay, this is Team Foxcatcher. That's correct. Not to be confused with The Prince of Pennsylvania, the 30 for 30, or Foxcatcher, Channing Tatum, Steve Carell. Correct. You guys went out, you started this, your timeline was the same as Foxcatchers? Pretty much. I mean, our, we were working on it a little bit before. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been in production and actually in, in our director's mind probably for about 15 years. I mean, he's, he's really wanted to do it for a while. Um, he approached Nancy about it to do it, and, uh, you know, it wasn't the right time for Nancy when he wanted to do it, and then, you know, something happened. I think, I think DuPont actually died in jail, um, you know, seven, eight years ago, and that's when, that's when Nancy said, all right, let's do this. And, uh, you know, Ben had approached me and told me that uh, Nancy Schultz was looking to make this film, and obviously it was something that happened. Like, I went to the University of Pennsylvania and wrestled at Penn, and Fox Cup was in our backyard. That's why I went to Penn. We got to train with Dave. We got to train with Dave Schultz. We got to train with all the Fox Catcher wrestlers. They were our assistant coaches. Dan Shea was our assistant coach. Brian Dolph was our assistant coach. Trevor Lewis was our assistant coach. They all worked out on Foxcatcher, so it was, it was an easy pull for us to go to that school at Penn. Obviously, a great institution. So, once we found out that Nancy was looking to do this, I mean, to, to be able to do a film that you're passionate about and also about some material that you know about, that's like the best of both worlds. So once we heard that Nancy wanted to do it, I teamed up with uh, Ben Hada and we, uh, we raised some money and we, and we got this thing off the ground. There's so many moving parts. I think everybody thinks that in the internet age, things are free, you know, because you, you can do a video on YouTube and exactly. put it out there and, and to some people that's free. Yeah. Things aren't free. No. This is, a, you know, our economy is driven by money. Yeah. Um, financers, getting support, how hard is that? How are all the moving parts and how instrumental was Penn Wrestling, alumni, and people around to financing and the moving parts getting it to work? Well, I think I would say for this project, it was fairly easy. And I think that's just a testament to how many people love Dave Schultz. Um, and we were just we were really tied to, uh, to that whole event. It was, it was devastating. And uh, when I found out that I could, I could be a part of making this happen, I rounded up a couple of Penn wrestlers, uh, a couple of people in the wrestling community as well. The money once they got once they got into it and we, we talked about it like you know what we get to make a film about something we care about something that we love so it was pretty easy to raise that but you know other films not as much having nancy on board you know i think that that's that is like the key piece to me absolutely you know, when you talk about something the keystone if you will yeah. that gives something structural integrity would you say nancy's the the, the keystone without nancy it doesn't happen you know we're talking about doing a film about her husband who was murdered it's not an easy, an easy topic to, uh, to talk about and, and to figure out how to do it. Um, you know, that's, that's why you got to kind of take the money out of it. Even though it's integral to make the film, you got to kind of take that money part out of it. And you need Nancy's blessing. You need, you need her involved. And, and her home footage, there's a lot of stuff people haven't seen yet. And they're going to be pretty surprised when they see this movie. Uh, did, I, I don't know, but is Xander involved in it? Dave's son, his daughter, are they involved? Yeah, they were, they were both interviewed for the film. Um, Xander was also an investor in the film. Himself, and as was uh, Danny. Um, they, they all uh, helped us out, and you know, without their blessing to do it, it, it would have been tough to do. But I think everyone realized that they wanted to see a film done right about you know their late father. Something like this, I don't feel like it needs press to get off the ground, but how important is it promoting the film? And when something goes on Netflix and it gets blasted out there on social media, you get you know you get some returns on it. You get yeah. some. What are you guys getting right now? What are people saying? Are they saying, ah, another film about this? Or what, what are your returns right now? I mean, what are people saying? I mean, it was just announced last week, and I, I mean, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't go more than like 10 or 20 yards without someone coming up and asking, is that your film, the Team Foxcatcher? Like, I can't wait to see it. You know, obviously we're in MSG. It's, it's the Nationals. It's the NCAA Finals. It's, people love it. We're in the wrestling community. It's all about wrestling. It's all about Dave Schultz, and I think everyone here really appreciates it more, so there's more of a buzz here than anywhere else. That's why I think it was coming out right at the perfect time. We've got the Nationals, we've got the Tribeca Film Festival, and it launches on Netflix, so there's going to be some good buzz going. So, so yeah, we're, we're really happy with what's going on right now. It's such a tight-knit community, wrestling is, and, it, and it's really important to, th to promote things from within. How important is it to, to step outside and get into some mainstream media as well? 
I mean, it's great, and and it's. I think that's an, it's just another testament to how powerful this story is. I mean, there's been th there's three pieces now on it. That, that's not just you know that, that just doesn't come around all the time. There's a lot of things that make this an incredible story, a tragic story, and the story needs to be told right. That's what Team Fast Team's Foxcatcher did. We told it the right way. We told the true story. We did we did we did a good uh, a good job on making this film for the uh, for the sport of wrestling. All right, sport of wrestling. Pen Quakers, Casey Kent. What do you think of this performance here at Madison oh, man. Square Garden? Casey Kent. Uh, Casey Kent helped propel Penn back into the top 20, which uh, they haven't been in a while. So we're very proud of what Kent did and the rest of the wrestlers. You know, they had they had a, they had a rough uh, Easterns, but they came back and they performed pretty well in the Nationals. So we we're very happy. All right, finals are coming up. You got anything else for me? Finals are coming. I just want to say I think MSG is probably the best place I've ever seen the Nationals, and I want to see it here again. And I hope everyone can uh, can tune into Netflix on April 29th and watch Team Foxcatcher. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Enjoy the finals. Thank you.